Dear students, now we will see depletion type MOSFET. Okay. Now in depletion type MOSFET also you have N channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET. Both. First we will see N channel depletion type MOSFET. Okay. Now this is the structure shown about N channel depletion type MOSFET. You can see here this is a P type substrate. This is a P type substrate. It's a bar like it's a P type substrate. You are having a metal contact here and you can going to take that contact as substrate. Yes, yes. Okay. And now here N type of semiconductor is induced. And even here N type of semiconductor is induced. And there is a link between this and this N type of semiconductor. Now this is called as a channel. This is called as channel. Okay. Now here we'll have a metallic contact to the semiconductor directly to the semiconductor and we'll name it as drain. We'll name it as drain. Similarly here we'll have a metallic contact to the semiconductor and directly we'll name it as source. So source and drain are directly connected to the semiconductor. Now in between you see this hatched area. This hatched area is nothing but silicon dioxide layer. So it is a insulator. It is a insulator. Okay. Now this layer is your oxide layer and that will be in between the metal and semiconductor for the gate. For the gate if you see you have a metal here. You have a insulator here. Okay, that is oxide, silicon dioxide and you have a semiconductor here. So it is metal, metal, oxide, semiconductor, MOS, FET, clear? So here only your concept comes. Now say this voltage, if it is zero volt, this voltage, if it is zero volt, okay, no charge is there. No positive charge also, no negative charge also. And opposite side also, as I have told you, it will behave like a parallel plate capacitor. If there is no charge here, this also will have no charge. And this N type of semiconductor, which is source, will be connected to drain. Channel is also N type, which is existing. And current will flow from source to drain in the forms of electrons. Electrons are flowing. Electrons are flowing from source to drain after apply the appropriate voltage okay the uh, attractive voltage will be applied here or uh, repulsive voltage will be applied here and then current will flow from source to drain so electrons are flowing from source to drain it is n channel depletion type mosfet so when vgs is equal to zero current is flowing that means normally it is on so this depletion type MOSFET is normally on when VGS is zero, when the gate voltage, uh, voltage between gate and source is zero also, this is current is going to flow. Okay. Now here, uh, this terminal we are seeing as a substrate terminal, which is the fourth terminal. This will be internally connected to the source if you want, or it can be left. So in this symbol also you can see. It can be left as a fourth terminal or it can be internally connected to the source. So these are the symbols of N channel depletion type MOSFET where the conventional current arrow is shown inside. Okay. Now here, if this gate voltage is made negative, if this gate voltage is made negative, what will happen for a parallel plate? This is a plate and this is a plate, a metal plate and semiconductor plate. If this is negative, automatically the other side will have opposite polarity positive when this side becomes positive positive charge okay the negative charge particles electrons are depleted they become short they will not be there in much number so here because you are giving a negative voltage here this will become positive this will become positive because of this positive the negative charge electrons which are flowing from source to drain will be reduced, will be depleted. 
will be depleted. And because of that depletion, the current which is flowing from source to drain will reduce. So as you increase the negative voltage, the current will decrease. The current will decrease. This is depletion mode. Okay. Similarly, you can give a positive voltage. Positive voltage you can give to the gate. If this side of the gate is made positive, automatically the other side will become negative because of the capacitance effect. So this is made positive. So then here it will be negative. Negative will get along with the negative charge particles electrons. The electrons will be enhanced in number and drain current from source to drain will increase. So if you give positive voltage, the drain current will go on increasing. If you give negative voltage, the drain current will go on decreasing. When there is negative voltage at the input, it is acting in depletion mode. And when it is positive voltage at the gate, it is actually acting as enhancement mode. So this depletion type MOSFET can work in both depletion mode also and enhancement mode also. Clear? And it will work when the voltage, gate voltage is zero also. At that time also, current is flowing because channel is already existing. Channel is already existing between source and drain. So current will flow between source and drain. Okay. So this will be the structure and the working of N channel depletion type MOSFET. Next we will see on the same lines, same type of working for P channel depletion type MOSFET. Now on the same lines students, we will see what is a P channel depletion type MOSFET. Okay. Now here you can see a N type substrate. This is a N type bar in which you have N type substrate, you are having a metal contact and the terminal as substrate has come which can be internally connected to the source. Then you have a P type semiconductor and here also you have P type semiconductor and in between also P type semiconductor is existing. So this P type semiconductor is connected with a metal contact to the source. This P-type semiconductor is connected with a metal contact to the drain and here there is no metal contact in between. Metal is here and in between you have oxide layer and then here is semiconductor and that is your gate, insulated gate. So it is insulated gate, metal, oxide and then semiconductor, MOS, metal oxide semiconductor. Now here the Connection between source and drain, this P-type semiconductor is your channel, is your channel. So channel is already existing. The flow of current will be because of holes, because it is P-type semiconductor, holes are going to flow from source to drain and holes we assume as positive charge particles. Okay. Now if the voltage here at the gate is zero, if the voltage here at the gate is zero and if this is acting as a parallel plate capacitor, okay, so this is gate, this is oxide layer, this is P-type semiconductor. So if this is zero, if you whatever you apply here is zero, then there will be no charge here, no charge here. So holes from source to drain will be flowing. Holes from source to drain will be flowing. That will be a drain current. That will be a drain current. Now if you apply a negative voltage. If you apply a negative voltage to the gate, what will happen is this side of the parallel plate is negative. The other side of the parallel plate becomes positive and holes are also positive charge carriers. So that positive and this positive will enhance the number of holes and holes there will be an increase in number of holes and the increase in drain current. So if the voltage is negative, the drain current increases just opposite to N channel. Okay. So here in P channel, if the voltage at the, at the gate is negative, the drain current will increase. Similarly, the, the voltage is positive. If the voltage is positive at the gate, that means this part has become positive of the parallel plate. That means the other side will become negative. The other side will become negative charge and holes themselves are called as positive charge. That means if the other side becomes negative, the holes from this region of channel will be depleted number of holes will reduce. So the current which is flowing from source to drain will reduce. And that's why if you give a positive gate voltage, the drain current will start reducing. If you increase the positive voltage, it will start reducing. If you give a negative voltage, it will start increasing. That means if you give a positive voltage, it will be depletion mode. If you give a negative voltage, it will be enhancing mode. In enhancing mode, the current will start increasing. 
in depression mode the current will start decreasing clear now this will work both for voltage is equal to zero also voltage is equal to negative also voltage is equal to positive also and because we are having p type source and p type brain and p type channel it is called as p channel depletion type mos apt it will work for just the opposite polarities of gate voltages here as we have seen in n channel depletion type mos apt okay so this is your structure and working this is a symbol where the arrow is shown outside in the first symbol the substrate our uh, terminal is shown separately so you can see four terminals in the second symbol the substrate is connected internally to source and then you can see three terminal for the depletion type mos apt so these are the symbols of your depletion type mos apt for p channel okay so this is how your p channel structure and working of depletion type mos apt